It happened at about 10 o'clock uh, this morning in Jalalabad. What we understand is that the attackers drove a vehicle uh, to the front entrance of the Indian consulate. Uh, one of them was spotted immediately by the security forces outside. Uh, he was shot and killed. Another one was shot and wounded. The third attacker detonated a suicide vest, and that's the blast uh, that's been responsible for so many of the injuries. We understand that the vast majority of the casualties have come from a mosque uh, that was next door to the Indian consulate. We understand from uh, the Indian government that they've accounted for all their officials in the building. Uh, but nevertheless, this isn't the first time that uh, the uh, Indian consulate has been attacked before. In 2008 and 2009, its mission was attacked in, uh, in Kabul, here where I'm standing. So a, come, a sense of heightened security, albeit because you will remember that uh, just yesterday on Friday, uh, the American government uh, announced the closure of all its U.S. missions in North Africa and the Middle East, and also including Kabul on Sunday, because they have intelligence uh, that uh, al-Qaeda were planning uh, to have strikes uh, in those occasions. Now, nothing to suggest these two things are linked, but as you can imagine, it adds to the heightened sense of tension, particularly among the diplomatic community.